is more than conqueror. Stand in him his great might, with all his strength and truth, and take the harm for the fight. Bible reading is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse from 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full arm of God so that you may take your stand against the devil's skin. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted, with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Good morning. It's, it's again, it's a lovely day. Well, last week I talked about, about Pippi, yeah, you know, from my own personal experience. But it's not just ordinary, but it was a professional because I was a professional in that area as a asbestos analyst. We cannot see, we cannot hear, we cannot smell, we cannot taste, we cannot touch. But there was a danger within that area. But I've seen again and again a lot of people, they don't care about that. Quite often, you know, when I found something wrong and the point out it need to be corrected, you know, they didn't wear the mask. They think, oh, it's all right, just for two minutes, one minute, I'm going to just, just pop in and then, you know, done and back. I'm going to, you know, hold my breath and go in there and then take it out and then something. Well, without overalls, well, it's too much, just quite often. And, and then, you know, they think, well, it's nothing, you know, it's okay, well, probably it's okay. Just ignore and then just, you know, they don't think it's important. It's not a matter of that. But it is very important. Even though we don't, we don't see that, you know, asbestos fibers. But as a asbestos analyst, I always see through microscopes. 
and quite often it's nice and clean, it's complete. But when I taste, you know, test it with the microscope, well, sometimes I amazed. With my own eye, you know, see round, and with microscope, completely different. So I cannot judge, you know, it is okay or not by my eyes, but always, I always set with the microscope. Well, that is it. So the PPE is very important to protect from that fibers, asbestos, virus. We need a PPE, all the things. Well, I'm not going to say anymore. And then to protect and fight against enemy, we need a helmet, full armor, breastplate, belt, boot, shield, and sword. Now, in the Bible again, what I'm going to you know, uh, uh, say is this personal protective equipment to fight against a virus, we need a PPE. To fight against enemy, we need full armor. To fight against devil's scheme, we need spiritual PPE. That is salvation, righteousness, truth belt, gospel, the boot, faith shield, and so on. Now, salvation, the helmet. First of all, salvation is helmet. That is salvation through Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus Christ so that we get everlasting life and salvation. That is what we need to put on salvation by or through Jesus Christ. And righteousness. Breastplate, second, breastplate, righteousness is not what by our deeds, but by faith. Like Abram, Genesis chapter 15, Abram got righteous by believing in God, not what he did. But through all the way, Abram. There was a fault and they gone away and the wrong things, all that. But God, God said to him, you are righteous because of that. And third, the shoes, a gospel. Wherever we go, the shoes, we put it on. Wherever we go, we are ready to talk about a gospel about Jesus Christ, everlasting life. And wherever we go, we are ready with the full gospel and the belt of truth. That truth is to understand that it's, it's a bit hard. I need a long time to you know, say, but I want to just say, John chapter four, that is in you know, a conversation between Jesus and uh, a Samaritan woman. We worship in here. We must worship in here. But what Jesus said, it doesn't matter where. The place is, doesn't matter. True worshipers will worship the Father in truth and in spirit. Now, now what is the meaning is that the spirit God's spirit comes down and our truth going up and to meet together and then that is the true worship. God's spirit comes down and when we come to meet God, well, there is sometimes wrong, sometimes a good deeds. We have struggles in all in here. But to worship God, to follow God all the way through, with almighty, our power. Sometimes there's wrong, wrong decisions, 
wrong deeds, but struggling to see God. That is the truth. It's the, 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 our life. We don't have, we don't have a, a salvation, not by our deeds, but faith. So salvation is not by deeds, but faith. But still, we are struggling to follow God. It's not easy. Our life, there is something wrong within the all, but truth to follow God. And our struggle, all that, that is what it means. And fifth, that is shield of faith. Shield. Blocking all the flaming arrows, the attacks. Quite often, the Satan, evil spirit said, Oh, you are not good enough. You know, you see, you did something wrong, and you say you are sons, you know, sons of God or daughters of God. Hey, no, 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 no. Or something like that. And also, sometimes our life doesn't, you know, not follow what we prayed. Our life is not like a straight up. Even though we believe in God, even though we follow God, even though we struggle to follow God, and there are so many things around crooked, and sometimes there's uh, valleys, and sometimes there is uh, hills and mountains to going up and going down and all the way. And sometimes, uh, you know, we want to give up. But we need faith to follow God. Still, God is working with us. Still, God is doing for us. Even though in this crisis of COVID-19, and it feels there's no God. God is not doing. God is just far, far away. And when we feel like that, we need faith. Sometimes we have been praying for one thing for a long time, and then it hasn't done that. Then we feel like we are drifting you know, away. And then we need faith. And the devils are attacking us. Hey, where is God? Your God is you know, uh, far, far away. God is not helping you. God has no plans for you. Then we need to hold our breath. Hold our soul by faith. No. God is faithful, trustworthy. God is with us. God has a plan that faith can shield blocking against flaming arrows. And sixth, it is the, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, mountain. Do you remember the mountain, uh, 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 Matthew? When Jesus was tempted by Satan, Satan attacked Jesus through and with the word of God three times. And when Jesus attacked again, Jesus also attacked by the word of God three times. When Jesus, uh, 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 Satan attacked us, we need to have the word of God to attack it. That is like the sword to attack. That sword, that word, that is what we need to have. Salvation, righteousness, truth, gospel, faith, and sword. So remember, six PPE of the spiritual armor. Six. To fight against virus, we need PPE. Masks. Hand gel or wash our hands. And then, especially, you know, uh, uh, it's going to be soon, you know, scrapping two meters uh, away of the social distancing. What? It doesn't mean anything for me. Because still, 
around us. There are, there are a virus. So what we need is three steps. We cannot avoid the virus. But if we have got that three, three basic PPE, hand gel, or wash our hands, masks, and two meters away. The other meaning is well, one meters or two meters, anything away from three basic. And then we are, we are protected by or from virus. Same as that. And here, devil's scheme is not like Devil is not like you know going around and hit around the bush, like not like that. Very clever. Try to destroy our souls. So we have to put the full armor of spiritual. Spiritual full armor. Salvation. Righteousness. Truth. Gospel. Faith. Sword, remember, that is basic, the spiritual full armor of God. So that can protect us from the devil. Let us pray. Lord, we are here and still we are over three months. While well, it is going to be eased, the lockdown, and a lot of the shopping center and business are opening. But Lord, there are still a lot of a virus. A lot of people get that in you know, a, a virus. Over 1,500 people and also almost 200, 130 or 170 every day. You know, no, death we have still. So, Lord, we need your help. We need your protection. Not only our body, but also our spirit, our souls. You know, it's like in you know, a long term of the lockdown, our mental is weakened and then our minds are you know a bit eased but lord only you can see the virus only you can protect us from the virus so lord protect us and let us remind of that personal ppe to protect our body and also protect from the devil's scheme. Salvation, righteousness, truth, gospel, faith, and the word of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The blessing of the Almighty, our God, the Father, and the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen.